Hello and welcome to GeoMind. In this video, we are going to discuss the part two of stratigraphy. So as you know, in the previous lecture, we discussed about introduction to stratigraphy and our main topic was principles of stratigraphy, okay? Which is a very important topic for your exams. So we discussed almost all the principles, okay? Like uniformitarianism, catastrophism, superposition, horizontality, okay? So all these were uh, Steno's principles we discussed, okay? Inclusion, formal succession, baked contacts. So we discussed till principles of baked contact in the previous lecture. In today's lecture, we will be focusing on unconformities and Walther's law of facies. And with that, our principles of stratigraphy will be completed. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure you watch it. All right, so uh, in the uh, today's video, we will be discussing the unconformities. Okay, so let's start. My name is Swapnil Best, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to GeoMind. These are some of the exams related to geology that I have cleared. Okay, written exams. All right. And if you want to join my telegram group, the link is in the description below. So we discussed about unconformities in a brief manner in the previous lecture. So what is unconformity? Any break in the deposition. Okay. Or you could say a period of non-deposition which is caused by erosion is known as unconformity. Okay. Again, uh, so, in order to understand unconformity, uh, we will be discussing the conformability first, okay? Because unconformity is made up of two words, unconformity, okay? So, what is conformity? Conformity is basically when the rock layers are deposited one by one, okay? Like first, let's say with time one, the first layer was deposited with time 2, the second layer was deposited on top of the first layer okay, of the sediments and there was no time gap between the deposition. Okay? You could say for example, like for one year in 2021, let's say one meter layer of sandstone was deposited and immediately after the uh, December 2021, in, uh, in January 2022, the second layer started to deposit. Okay, so there was no break in between the deposition. So we could say that layer one and layer two are conformable. Conformable. Okay, so uninterrupted deposition is known as conformability. Okay, so a conformable in contact indicates that no significant break or hiatus. Hiatus ka matlab kya hota hai? Break. Okay, time break. So there was no significant break or hiatus in deposition has occurred. Okay, so a hiatus is a break or interruption in the continuity of the geological record. So there can be some minor depositional breaks like for example, uh, a break of uh, let's say six months. 10 months okay uh, because generally when we are talking about the unconformable uh, unconformability uh, the non deposition breaks are generally for millions of years or thousands of years okay and if there are minor depositional breaks they come under conformability okay so these minor depositional breaks of like 6 months 1 year 2 year uh, is nothing so these are known as diastems okay what is known as diastems, minor depositional breaks, but these minor depositional breaks, again I am saying, does not come under unconformability. Okay, it comes under conformability. Okay, so we ignore these minor depositional breaks when we are talking about unconformability. So these are they are they are known as diastems. Okay, now so here you can see uh, a type of different types of uh, conformable contacts. Okay, progressive, gradual intercalated okay this is not that important all right now we will move on to 
unconformities so there are four basic type of unconformities okay four basic types of gradational uh, unconformable contacts okay and based upon those contacts between the rock layers we have classified the unconformities into four types angular disconformity paraconformity non conformity okay these are pretty simple but most of the time the people or students get confused uh, when we are talking about these four unconform unconformity so we will discuss them one by one okay so here you can see uh, in this image the first image you can see the layers okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay so obviously the first layer was deposited first then there was second layer the third layer fourth layer and fifth layer so what happens with the time time is going like this okay let's say this is 100 million years okay and this is 200 million years okay so uh, with time what happens there was a uplift geotectonical let's say there was a type of uh, mantle plume or uh, whatever okay uplift was there geotectonic forces were acting upon this these layers okay these layers started to bend okay now these layers started to bend and let's say this portion got eroded after the folding okay by various processes let's say uh, rivers okay winds okay so this ports this portion got eroded and we are left with this so upper half got eroded okay after that again deposition happened but again the deposition always happen in horizontal fashion this is the principle also right so we are left with this contact okay so here you can see the contact is this one okay so this erosion let's say happened 400 million years and after the deposition happened okay there was a c and the deposition happened in horizontal fashion so this contact between this horizontal strata above and this angular strata above below sorry okay you can see the type of contact is an angular contact right so this red line represent the relationship between above no, sorry above and below so this type of contact is angular contact in which the strata below here has an angular a uh, geometry to it with relationship to the top of the strata so this type of unconformity is known as angular unconformity all right so i hope it is clear this is the first one okay first type of unconformity angular unconformity so pretty simple to understand okay so uh, in the real life you can see that if the contact between the two layers okay two unconformable layers is such that a one layer any of the layer okay above layer or top layer above layer or the bottom layer if they are in any sort of angular contact with each other then that type of angular conformity is that of unconformity is known as angular unconformity okay so here you can see uh, these are the gently dipping sandstone beds okay and these are nearly vertical sandstone beds okay to yahan pe jo ye white line aapko dikh rahi hai isko main red kar deta hu isko main kar deta hu blue right this line so this is yahan pe kya hua depositional break hua here was the depositional break break okay so this this vertical strata got eroded after some time there was deposition of horizontal strata okay so you could you can see that the angular 
contact is there right so this is a type of angular unconformity now we will talk about disconformity disconformity mein kya hai an unconformity surface above and below which the bedding planes are essentially parallel so this line here is very very important the bedding planes are parallel to each other above and below the unconformity so this boundary of non deposition is there again i am saying unconformity is what a boundary of non deposition okay so you could see that above layer obviously which is the younger layer is horizontal and older layer is also horizontal so the type of contact in between these two upper and bottom layer okay is a parallel so if it is parallel then this is known as disconformity okay this is very very important yahan pe uh, in this people get confused okay so this you have to remember disconformity means parallel relationship okay so the contact is visible this you have to remember that in disconformity the contact that is the non depositional contact or the boundary which represent the unconformity is visible okay visible now visible to naked eye or you could say macro in nature now the third one is para conformity now what is para conformity para conformity is similar to disconformity similar to disconformity means the <coughs> above and bottom layer are parallel to each other right above and bottom layer are parallel to each other but in para conformity what happens the non depositional boundary line or you could say the unconformity boundary line or the unconformity contact is not visible or you could say it is not visible to naked eye okay so no erosional surface or other physical evidence of unconformity is discernible so what it trying to say is that if we go in the field and if we say that let's say this is the old this is the young okay and if we go to the field and if we does not find any sort of you know physical evidence of the unconformity or the naked eye evidence of the unconformity you will say that this is a para conformity but how we will find we can find via radioactive dating okay or any geochemical method so here you can see that this layer let's say this is the layer 1 is 100 million years old and this is the layer 2 which is 50 million years old and between these two layers between these two layers there is a non depositional period of 50 million years but in the field you will say that you will see that it is not easily discernible to the naked eye it is there is no physical evidence of it generally because the generally what happens the erosion surface is this irregular in fashion okay irregular in fashion but here you can see it is similarly uh, you know it is parallel or it is horizontal in nature so you can you can't see with the naked eye so this you have to remember that in para conformity what happens above and below layers are parallel to each other but the unconformity surface is not physically discernible or there is no physical evidence of the uh, unconformity okay so this is para conformity i hope it is clear okay again i am saying that in general what happens the unconformity surface is irregular in nature like in in disconformity what happens you can easily see uh, the physical evidence of the unconformity by the erosional uh, surface which is generally irregular but if this erosional surface is a smooth horizontal line then it is obviously not easily detectable you have to rock date uh, you have to date these rocks via geochemical dating or radioactive dating okay and then only you can 
you know uh, come to evidence that yes there has been a sort of non devotional period here okay so this is what para conformity is then there is non conformity non conformity is what when the so uh, so this is the unconformity surface a regular surface when the younger sedimentary rocks younger sedimentary rocks rest above the older crystalline rocks now what is the difference to, difference between crystalline and sedimentary rocks in crystalline rocks we are talking about metamorphic or igneous rocks so when the rock below the unconformity is metamorphic or igneous and the rock above the unconformity is sedimentary rock then that type of unconformity is known as non conformity again i am saying let's say there was a let's say there was a igneous intrusion okay a pluton is there okay and here it is let's say metamorphic rock but the country rock is metamorphic but what happens after some time erosion happens okay and after erosion there is the deposition of let's say sandstone or shale or whatever okay it has to be a sedimentary rock so the above layer is sedimentary the below layer is metamorphic or uh, igneous rock this sort of unconformity is known as non conformity okay so i hope it is clear pretty easy to understand only you have to remember the concepts okay the names are very important okay so non conformity older igneous rocks and younger sedimentary rock and the the surface is easily discernible again here okay so that was it for your unconformity now we will move on to walther's law of facies okay walther's law of facies was given by obviously walther okay so it was given by johannes walther in 1869 uh, and 1937 so what johannes walther say uh, said that the facies that occur in conformable vertical succession of strata also occur in laterally adjacent environment i know it is pretty uh, uh, hard to understand with that statement okay so that's why i discussed about facies in my previous lecture okay so isko abhi rehne dete hain we will talk about the first point here the fundamental relationship between the vertical and lateral distribution of facies again yahan pe word aa raha hai facies what is facies facies is nothing but sedimentary rocks okay sedimentary rock with particular particular type of you know when the sedimentary rocks are deposited in particular environment then those sedimentary rocks are known as facies okay so we will uh, discuss this with the images okay but again let us just see what he is trying to say the fundamental relationship between the vertical and lateral distribution of facies okay lateral distribution means let's say this is sandstone then lateral means side by side okay then this is shale and let's say this is limestone okay limestone shale and sandstone this is the lateral distribution and in vertical limestone with shale and then sandstone this is the vertical distribution so what is trying to say there is some sort of relationship between these two type of deposition okay so what you have to understand is that sedimentary rock types record the environment of their deposition okay in what type of environment the sedimentary rocks were deposited we can easily discern okay that so deposition environment can shift laterally as condition change okay so obviously 
डिपोशन एनवायरमेंट जो होता है वो शिफ्ट होता है लेटरली साइड बाई साइड होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जनरली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रांसग्रेशन एंड रिग्रेशन ओके शोर लाइन और राइज और फॉल ऑफ सी लेवल ओके सो वेन देर इज राइज ऑफ सी लेवल वट हैपन्स ट्रांसग्रेशन हैपन्स वेन देर इज फॉल ऑफ सी लेवल वट हैपन्स रिग्रेशन हैपन्स ओके सो वेन देर इज राइज एंड फॉल ऑफ द सी लेवल रिग्रेशन एंड ट्रांसग्रेशन हैपन्स एंड इन टर्न द डिपोजिशन आर शिफ्टेड when the deposition is shifted there can be vertical deposition and lateral deposition how we will see okay so laterally related environment become superimposed on each other how we will see that okay again you have to remember that this law is valid only for conformable strata conformable strata means there is no uh, there is no unconformity here okay okay so what happens let's say this is the shoreline facies okay this is the ce all right so what happens there is lateral environment here okay uh, uh, towards the shore uh, there is uh, there is limestone in between there is mud mud sediment or you could say uh, shale and then there is uh, towards the towards the uh, uh, continental side there is sandstone okay so these are laterally deposited okay in this fashion generally the deposition happens near the shore okay so sandy environment is here then there is muddy environment and then there is limey sediments or you could say limestone but what happens let's say this sea level rises okay if this sea level rises what will happen the deposition environment will shift towards the land side right so what have what will happen originally there was sandstone then shale and then limestone okay in the original sea level but now sea level has rise uh, risen okay so the facies will shift toward the land side so uh, this is sandstone this is shale and this is limestone sorry this is limestone right right so in if if the sea level keep rising like that we will eventually we will see eventually we will see that in vertical succession in vertical succession if we if we look at this part right here so on top you will have limestone then you will have shale then you will have sandstone if you look at this part right here right limestone shale and sandstone okay limestone shale and sandstone so you could say that this is the vertical progression or the vertical distribution of the sedimentary environment or sedimentary facies by discerning that you could say that limestone was once deposited next to shale and sandstone okay and shale was deposited next to sandstone so this is the walters law of facies okay lateral distribution of strata and vertical distribution of strata okay and remember this law is invalid where the contact between different lithologies is non conformable okay so this is about walther's law of facies okay transgression and regression happens okay one deposition environment deposit deposit vertically over another okay and before they were laterally distributed 
okay so this was it for today's video guys i hope you liked it and uh, in the next video we will talk about uh, more topics related to stratigraphy okay and i will also make structural geology side by side till then stay safe thank you and if you want to uh, you know uh, ask me any doubts you can ask me in telegram okay uh, which is uh, the link is given below and uh, in instagram you can also message me if you are on instagram you can search swapnil singh best okay so till then stay safe and goodbye